Hello, thanks for joining us today. My name is Dave Satayish. I'm the Marketing Director of Dave's Marketing. A little about myself before we get going. Um, I have a degree in Business Administration. I'm also certified in Lean Management as a Black Belt and the Master Black Belt. So today we're here to talk about expanding into the Mexican market. We're going to talk about just a few things today. We're going to talk about how the Mexican market is growing. We're going to talk about the average Mexican citizen. And we're also going to talk about how are we going to staff our team that's going to be in Mexico. So we decided to make this leap into Mexico for one reason, growth. The average human being stops growing at 16. We're not a human being. We're a company we will continue to grow. So let's jump right in. The Mexican market is growing 1.3 yearly. So it was an easy decision to jump into Mexico. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to have the same in-person strategy. We'll be on location at our customer's location, targeting their customers. But we're going to go with a different approach because these are different folks. A lot of people say different strokes for different folks, but in sales, if you want to be successful, it's a different approach for different folks. We have the same end in mind. We want to make the customers successful, and by doing that, we'll make us successful. So the average Mexican citizen, this is our target interactions. So the Mexican people are very family oriented. You could see all in one car, a brother, a sister, a cousin, a grandma, and maybe an uncle. So when you run across these people in the public, don't assume that somebody is somebody else's husband or wife. Physical contact is very traditional in Mexico. This can be limited to a handshake, but to not give any contact is a sign of disrespect. So the young population of Mexico is growing and it's already large. It's actually the majority. The majority of people in Mexico are 30 years or younger. Now, these people are very wary of strangers, which makes our job even harder. In the United States, I might meet somebody and say, hey, how are you doing? Where, where are you from? In Mexico, that would be the wrong decision. I would come off as off-putting and creepy. So the middle class of Mexico is growing, and that's our bread and butter. That's why it was an easy decision to make this step. With all of that considered, it's a no-brainer that we have to hire a Mexican sales force. The Mexican sales force will know the language. They will also know the customs that are foreign to us. So in doing this, we will have to headhunt our employees. We don't want to find a needle in a haystack. We want to find a pile of nice needles. To protect the company, we will put every employee on the probation period, giving them 90 days to fully examine their fit to be an employee of Dave's Marketing. So that's a brief synopsis of our three main points of heading into Mexico. So I was at a conference recently and a competitor, I'll leave them unnamed, said, you're crazy to go into Mexico. In my head, I just turned and laughed, but in my head I said, uh, I said, thank you. You know, I didn't say that loud, but, but um, it's like Steve Jobs says, people who think they can change the world are crazy, but they are the ones who do it. Now, thank you for your time. Everybody have a great day.